Right, so what we're doing today is looking to um, leverage the advanced functionality of Google Gemini. And what it's going to enable us to do is ultimately enable our extensions, chat with our documents, and looking at more of the advanced features within the Gemini environment. It's truly powerful um, software solution that's uh, really accessible, really easy to use. So let's go. Google Gemini and um, the offering from Google is on their website. Um, it's not going to be the Vertex AI or the Advanced Developer System. So what we're going to do is just um, show you real quickly how to enable your extensions, how to get access to your data, and uh, show you a couple of cool, really, really cool features that I found. Right, so Gemini models built uh, from the ground up for multimodality, which basically means it can use text, images, audio, video, and code. And um, you can basically scroll through over here and it'll just show you what it's about, how it works, and uh, the security measures that's been put in place. So what's really cool about it is that um, it doesn't allow any profanity or any sort of um, um, acts of violence or anything that's going to potentially uh, create harm to anybody. And this is a really great thing about Google's um, principled and responsible AI. Um, that's been developed. Right, so the best way to get into Google's Gemini is just to type in gemini.google.com and um, it'll take you to the sign up portal if you haven't already. And um, what it will do then is it will show you um, the landing page over here. All right, so if you're familiar with other chatbots, um, it's a pretty simple interface where you've got your um, um, history on your left hand side, you can type in your prompt down below. If you want to upload any uh, images or if you want to use your microphone to speak to it all right and it's got some samples over here right so first things first what we're going to do is just enable our extensions so let's click on settings and click on extensions if you haven't already sign up for the gemini advanced so the gemini doesn't allow you to connect to all of the advanced features so Google does offer the free two months uh, Gemini advanced functionality. And um, that's ultimately where the real power of Gemini comes into play. Right, so um, click on upgrade if you haven't already, and um, you can then come back into settings. All right, so settings has got the extensions over here, and you can choose your dark theme or your light theme. I prefer the white and uh, real-time responses. Um, so this basically just scrolls through your responses and uh, provides it on the screen as it's coming up. So let's keep that on because I quite like that. And um, ultimately what we want to do is our first use case is to scan some of our emails. So let's click on extensions. Um, but let's first open up our emails over here. So let's open up Gmail. And you can see some of my emails over here. None of this over here is um, particularly um, exciting to me, but it might be exciting for others. Uh, so let's what we're going to do is just come back in here, click on extensions. And here's the extensions that you can now enable. All right. So if you wanted to enable maps, workspace or YouTube, you just click on the little um, toggle item over here. And let's enable Google Workspace because we want to able we want to access Gmail, Google Drive, and our Google Documents. All right, so let's just enable that. It's going to ask you to um, allow the connection to the um, software. All right, so click on Connect, and um, that should be all it needs. All right, and YouTube. Let's click on Connect. And that's all you really need to do now. All right, so now the power is really in your prompting to try and get you to work it in the right way. Right, so really simple example. What we're gonna do is chat with a particular email or chat with our last email. So the, the prompt you would use um, would be to, you are a, a task master, please create some tasks for me to action from my last five emails and show it in tabular form. All right, so what it's gonna do now is it's gonna go search for your Google Mail and uh, connect it. As you can see, it's connecting up to Google's workspace, but that's okay. So find my emails and summarize them. And uh, yeah, so these are the um, emails that I've received and here's the top um, emails that I've got at the moment. All right, so that's great. So let's uh, go create a, uh, I'll create a summary table of the um, Google, Gemini email and may 
make it a tabular format. All right, so here's all the Google Gemini emails that has been found and here's a tabular format of it. If you want to access it, you just click on it and it will open up your Gmail. So really nifty feature over there. Um, and um, it can help you just obviously scan and search for stuff. The next thing I wanted to show you was how to interact with Google Drive and um, interrogate your PDF documents. So I've just opened up drive.google.com, created a folder and then uploaded these, fold, uh, these files over here. So first for data.com, it's got a blueprint and I've got an exec guide to uh, starting up with um, Gemini. Uh, so if you want any more information, go to first for data.com and um, check out some of my um, stuff over there. But let's uh, go back to Gemini and what we wanna do is say, um, summarize my Google document called, oh, I keep spelling Google wrong, Google document called, and let's just find the name of it. All right, so this one over here, and let's just put in, all right, I've just found that if you copy the name of it, it works a lot better. Uh, let's go Google Drive document called um, that, and provide uh, steps in a format that can be actioned. All right, and let's hit enter. So what it should now do is it should be able to know that we want to connect to our data uh, using Google Workspace, and um, it's ultimately found the document. All right, and um, yep, and it was right, and it just came up with a um, issue over here. But I think it is actually right. It is the readiness assessment, use cases, create launch pad, build a prototype. Um, so let's just go uh, continue with this. It is correct. Okay, so it's basically asking you here. So let's just basically type that in again. Um, it might be a little bit glitchy, um, and let's do that again. All right, so what we're going to do is summarize the Google Drive document, um, which we've already looked at, and it's now ultimately accessing that document and um, producing the output. All right, so that looks pretty cool. Um, so really uh, fun and nifty feature. If you wanted a bit more enterprise grade, um, a bit more um, simple use of it, um, head on over to firstfordata.com and um, let me know if you want to see a, a demo of the um, Vertex AI version that I've got. Um, right, so that's quite cool, quite nifty. And um, the, the next thing I wanted to show you was um, using the um, advanced functionality where it scans a image as well as um, provides information on where to find the information. So we're gonna use a combination of the Google image as well as the Google Maps. So what I'm gonna do is uh, find a picture of my desk or a picture of a desk. I wish my office looked like this. It's definitely not as clean and as neat as that and I don't have these fancy things, but that's okay. So we'll go find this image and then upload it into um, Google Gemini and uh, start playing around with what, what it can do. All right, so let's go and find it. Okay, so you click on the upload image and it will basically upload over here. It will now ask you to enter the prompt. So let you, what you can do here is say, uh, describe this image and provide all the items in the image you can see in a list view. I also want you to scan for uh, stores that sell these items and let's hit enter. So what it's done is it's um, produced the output, computers, mice, monitor, desk, and it'll tell you where to buy these items. All right, so what's really powerful right now is we can go and say, um, based on my location, which 
stores in my area have these items and provide a estimate price in a tabular format and hit enter. Right, so what it should do now is it should basically open up Google Maps and um, use the power of Google to search for stores. All right, so here's the, um, so it knows where I am and um, here's the monitor, here's the estimate price range and um, different products around the um, area that I'm living in. All right, so it says that it couldn't find it, but it actually gave me a bit more information over here. All right, um, it basically knows where I am in New Zealand. So that's really cool. And um, yeah, I thought that was quite a nifty feature. Right, so let's uh, have a look at the other extensions that we've got available to us. And we've got Google Flights, got Google Hotels, Maps, and our workspace, which we've already done and um, YouTube. So let's go have a look at YouTube over here. So really uh, cool uh, feature that you that's available at the moment is to summarize some YouTube videos. So let's give that a go. So uh, summarize and make a uh, blog post of the latest video from level up underscore plus and provide it in a fun tone. All right, so what it should do now is it should recognize that it needs to go to YouTube, find the YouTube video, scan it, look at it, and ultimately uh, decipher it and create a, uh, an output. Right, so it's found exactly what it wanted. Um, all right, so fine tuning a model in Gemini and Vertex AI by Level Up Plus. Yes, exactly that one. And uh, yep, needs data and unleash your chatbot. And here is my video. So a pretty compelling, pretty short work of that. So a really uh, useful topic or useful item that we can use to ultimately create some content. So hopefully you found this really valuable. And um, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and uh, catch you next time.